Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Gruesome's Garage. What I wanted to do was, there's been some response to previous videos I made in the Bauer Dust Cyclone and the Bauer uh, Shop Vac that I bought for my glass cabinet. And a lot of viewers have said, hey, Gruesome's Garage, you never made a follow-up video, which I didn't. And that's my bad. So I told them I would make a follow-up video and give me a little overview of what I think of the two products in conjunction with my blast cabinet. So we're going to get into that right now. If you get a chance, please hit the like and subscribe button. My channel's been growing. I'm a little bit more enthusiastic now that I see you know more viewership on there. So I'm enjoying making these videos again. And I want to keep them coming to you. So we'll get into this right now. And... At the end of it, we'll have a little uh, overview of what I think of the products. So stay tuned. Okay, here's the shop vac to the dust cyclone. I had to, um, this was actually a fitting that came with a power vent hot water heater that I have. And it worked great for this. If you remember in my previous video, I complained about there's not being a proper adapter for this. And then I got the tube going into here which I found an adapter down scrounging around in my basement for this. So I got the uh, shop vac plugged into my blast cabinet. I'm going to get the blast cabinet set up here and we'll turn everything on and we'll show you how it works. Hey everybody, I got the blast cabinet set up. I'm about to start the vacuum. We're going to uh, clean up this rusty battery tray from the Firebird. And I recommend anytime you use a blast cabinet to just take a wire brush and get all the loose scale off that so it's not clogging up your blast cabinet. Uh, just good practice to get into. So we'll get started with this and we'll see how it turns out. Uh, I'm going to start up the unit now. Okay, I'm not going to make you guys listen to the vacuum cleaner and the air compressor and everything going on. Right now I'm entering the uh, blast cabinet, getting things staged in there for the blasting. Like I said in the other part of the video, I am using Harbor Freight Black Diamond for the blast media. I'm using the finer grit, which probably for this job I should have used the coarser grit. Uh, the blast cabinet works pretty good. Uh, I've made a lot of modifications for it. I probably ought to go through them in another video, but that's for another time. So, I'm going to give you an inside. Okay, now I'm inside the blast cabinet and I'm filming it. I just wanted to show you how well the vacuum is keeping the cabinet clear. Uh, prior, usually when you're using a blast cabinet, it gets pretty tough to see in there. I do have good LED lighting in there, but the there's a lot of debris circulating around in there. And the vacuum does a really good job of taking it out. I mean, I'm really impressed with it. Uh, there's a couple modifications I did make on like dampers and stuff for the cabinet that have helped. But it's a lot easier to see in there now than it was like when I first got the cabinet. It would get really tough to see with all the stuff swirling around in there. So that does help a lot. So, as you can see, the uh, parts cleaning up. I mean, this doesn't work as good as a commercial grade blast cabinet, but it does a good job shot of it right now. Okay everybody, We've got our, part, our battery tray media blasted. And if anybody's curious, I'm using tar, uh, Tractor Supply Black Diamond, which is basically coal slag. Uh, I can't remember which, it's the, um, oh, it's the lighter weight of the two. I probably should have used a little bit heavier for this scale, but I don't have a bag of the heavier stuff. But it cleaned up pretty nice. I could go over it a little more, but this is a demonstration to show you how the um, cyclone works. So, let's check it out. Okay, we got a bit in there. We did run it for a while. So we are getting uh, dust collection. Now let's see how much of it got inside the shop vac. The 
There's really none in the shop vac. So the dust cyclone is doing its job. There's a little bit of um, got into the filter. That's to be expected, but it's not really that bad from what I would uh, if I was doing it without the cyclone. So in my opinion, the Harbor Freight Cyclone does work. It kept the blast cabinet free of dust. It collected the dust and very little of it got into the shop vac. Just a little bit into the filter. So it, my prior criticisms of it aside about being flimsy and stuff, it does do the job it was intended to do. So that's my review of it. My final review. <laughs> I will um, make some more videos. i got to make some more about the Terraplane. I'm working on one about the history of Terraplane. And uh, i got to get back to the Firebird. So I hope you have a great day. And we will be talking to you. God bless.